Well, what I think your listeners are interested to know is who, in fact, is going to be subject to a pay freeze or to the minimal uh, pay increase that we've heard of 1%. Because many of us stood on our doorsteps, didn't we? And we realised quickly that the NHS workers, all of them, doctors, nurses, but also the porters and the people that provided the food and all of that, were a really important defence against COVID and they carried on working. But we realised there were other key workers. There were the women in the schools providing hot meals uh, for the children of other key workers. There were the people cleaning our streets, teaching assistants, a whole array of people. And we stood and applauded them because we knew that they were working for us in our communities. And then to be told now, Bearing in mind there's already been 10 years of pay freezes and minimal increases, to be told now that um, they're going to have to bear the cost of this second crisis really is a kick in the teeth. And I don't think that's what people want. I think your listeners and the people in the community I live in want all of those people to be properly looked after and thanked. 600 health and social care workers have lost their lives because of what they've done for us. And I think in their memory and for their families, those workers deserve some respect.